Welcome in girls, go ahead and take a seat. Hey girls, looks like we have a small class today. We'll be painting techniques using the Renaissance period. I'm super excited to get the most out of this class. I'd love to walk out today with more knowledge about the amazing paintings of the Renaissance. All right, everybody, to start off, let's take a look at this painting. I'm assuming you all recognize it as the Mona Lisa. Oh yeah, didn't Leonardo da Vinci paint that? Yes! He painted this portrait to be a woman seated in front of a mountainous landscape. What are your guys' thoughts on the facial expression? I noticed that she looks fairly serious. What was da Vinci's reason behind her mysterious expression? His motivation was to create a painting different from other artworks of the time. He centered in on the woman's emotions. Her facial expression revealed the curiosity for exploring human nature that da Vinci had. This is so interesting. I never realized that a facial expression could express an artist's ideas about the complexity of humanity. Moving further along, does anyone notice any notable features in this painting? Well, the background looks pretty far away, and there's some soft shading going on. Good observation! The background illustrates the Renaissance technique of sfumato, in which there is use of slightly contrasting colors that result in a hazy distance effect. This allows for a focus on the figure's questioning expression. This technique was also used in da Vinci's Adarsh and the Magi, where the surrounding figures to Mary and Jesus were. Now let's take this one step further, ladies. Pick up your paintbrushes. Which one? Grab a medium-sized dry brush and let's try out Sfumato on our blank canvas. Start with your brown and paint a line on the left. Now take some white and create a line about an inch to the right. and start a horizontal zigzag motion along the center to create a smooth fade between the colors. You guys should have no harsh lines now. I feel just like a real artist. I can't believe Da Vinci created such complicated works of art so long ago. Any questions? How did Da Vinci transform the figures he was attempting to create with this technique? Slamato allowed the figures to blend in with the painting by creating a soft transition with the unique contrasting tones. Slamato seems really interesting and popular. Da Vinci used it in two of his famous paintings, Adoration of the Magi and the Mona Lisa. The next paintings we have are La Primavera and Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Oh, I've heard of these two paintings before. Isn't the Birth of Venus a continuation of La Primavera? Very good, Katie. These two paintings both have Greek mythology figures in them. Botticelli's La Primavera is an allegory, which just means that there are hidden messages throughout the painting. Does anyone think they notice a message? I notice that Cupid is in this painting. Does that have any significance? It does, Mallory. One hidden message is the idea of love and a springtime marriage. I never thought there were hidden messages in paintings before attending this art class. And also, it seems pretty innovative that Botticelli chose to introduce mythological figures into his painting. In that class, I will begin to show you a technique Botticelli used in The Birth of Venus. In this painting, he contours Venus's body. Is that a little like shading? Yes, it's just like shading the human body. I'd like you all to start off by shading a basic figure like an apple. What paintbrush do we use? For this technique, it is truthfully personal preference. Let's start with a basic apple. Now should I shade the apple lighter or darker? You guys should shade the apple lighter to highlight features. Like this? Yes, that is so good! We'll now move on to a painting by Leonardo da Vinci called The Last Supper. It is one of his most famous pieces of artwork and a prominent technique used is linear perspective. We can easily see the single vanishing point behind where Jesus lies and this draws attention to the center. Why is the vanishing point behind Jesus? In the Renaissance period, the Last Supper was a popular biblical scene to paint. So by using this technique, da Vinci could differentiate himself by drawing attention to Jesus. You can see how da Vinci works this technique into the painting here. How do you guys feel about learning about one more technique used by another famous painter? I would love to! What painter? The next painter we'll be focusing on is Michelangelo, and the next painting is the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Balance was an important craft to create the look of the ceiling. He strategically placed the same figure multiple times, but the overall look of the ceiling was not busy. Our focus will be geometric balance. Just curious, but what kind of figures did Michelangelo use in his painting? 
He used a lot of human figures, triangles, ram heads, and many more. I mean, just looking at the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, it's crazy. From afar, it looks like utter chaos, but once you look at the different panels, you can understand the simple but complex approach. I will now give you one half of an object to replicate. Like this? Yes, you really replicated Michelangelo's technique there. You guys all did great today. I hope to see you again, and I hope I piqued your interest in art. Hey guys, do you remember that art class we went to a few years ago? Yeah, that was honestly so fun and interesting. And the instructor was like super helpful too. But for real guys, we're graduating in a month and we have no idea what we want to do. Well, why don't we get some fresh air while we think about it? Yeah. Guys, what do you think we should do? I mean, we could be doctors. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of late for that, so, yeah. actually, so I don't really know. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Application for art tour guides? Wait a second. I have an idea. Should we apply for this? That sounds amazing. Sounds like a great idea. Let's take it inside and look at it more. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. It says that almost anyone can be hired. And we have some experience from the art class two years ago. Oh, right. I really think we should go for it, guys. Let's do it. Matt turn. From this day on out, the girls who attended the art class two years ago got the job at the Renaissance Art Gallery and are here now to inform you about the amazing paintings of the Renaissance.